for you here at 10. Eight teens ended up in the hospital after eating candy, possibly laced with drugs. All this happened at a middle school in Granbury, where police are still trying to figure out what was actually inside that candy. But they have ruled one thing out. Olivia Leach explains tonight. Thankfully, the eight students who ate that candy were released from the hospital that same day. But police are now investigating and waiting for test results to determine what was in it. According to Granbury Police and Granbury ISD, the incident happened on Tuesday afternoon. Eight students at Granbury Middle School ate candy that was believed to contain a narcotic. They got that candy from another student. Those students were taken to the hospital but are okay. Granbury Police Chief Mitch Galvan tells me all the students were released from the hospital that same day. Officials tested the candy and determined it did not contain THC, the active ingredient in marijuana. However, police are waiting for additional testing to determine if the candy contained any other narcotic. In a letter sent to parents, the principal of Granbury Middle School, Dr. Andy Smith, encouraged them to talk to their kids about the risks, saying, quote, as parents or guardians, it is crucial that we have open and honest conversations with our children about making responsible choices and being cautious when it comes to accepting or consuming anything unfamiliar. It was pretty concerning because, you know, now you never used to have to worry about stuff like this growing up and now all of a sudden you just have to monitor your kids a lot more now than you had to back then. And I'll be talking to my son when I get home about it too because I it just skipped my mind but now that you brought it up I'm going to definitely talk to him about it. Granbury's police chief tells me he hopes to get the results of that additional testing on the candy sometime in the next few days. In Granbury, Olivia Leach, CBS News, Texas. Yep.